There are lots of ways we can be more green in the office without bringing the whole forest inside, without huge cost implications, and with long-term benefits to the company, employee well-being, and future spend. In this video, I'll guide you through nine ways to start a green initiative at work. The US alone throws away $11.4 billion worth of recyclable containers and packaging every year, which suggests that recycling bins are not being used correctly. Be sure to have a recycling bin in the office for maximum green points, or start a recycling initiative where everyone has a recycling box on their desk and only one rubbish bin placed in a communal area to encourage mindfulness around how we discard waste. If you have a kettle, just boil what you need. Don't boil the maximum just in case someone else wants a cuppa. Check first and tick off improving team relations and communication along with it. Every evening, turn off electric items, including lighting, heating, and aircon. Make sure the last one out of the building always does this. During the working day, be conscious of electricity usage and switch off lights in unused meeting rooms and corridors. If budget allows, consider sensor-activated lights, which will also help reduce power costs in the long run. Bean bags are all the rage in breakout areas, but they come at a huge environmental cost. These squishy relaxation stations are full of tiny pollutants, polystyrene balls, which are thought to take over a million years to decompose. And unfortunately, we're only likely to discover this when it's too late. If you must have bean bags, opt for a compostable bean bag fill made of maize starch. To help get everyone on board and motivated about green workplace initiatives, why not create monthly green challenges with your team? Think bike to work day, use less fuel day, wear recycled fibers day, bring your lunch in a wax wrap day, BYO keep cup or coffee cup day. You could even have a green challenges leaderboard and incentivize your staff and employees with a monthly winner of the greenest employee award. The average office worker in the United States goes through roughly 500 disposable cups annually. Think of the difference just one keep cup per staff member could make. Opt for cans over glass for maximum green points at beer o'clock on a Friday. While glass is infinitely recyclable without any loss in purity or quality, aluminium is the number one recycled material in the USA and makes up less than 1% waste because of this. So choose cans over glass to help reduce demand on glass production. Can you get your office milk from a local dairy farm? In New Zealand we definitely can. Why not try refillable milk bottles that you can use over and over again and buy directly from the source? If you do choose glass bottles, be sure to choose ones which are already made from recycled glass and reuse them. We live in an age where workplaces are becoming increasingly digitized. Is it really necessary to print single-sided or have a paper visitor book? Start by reducing waste at the front desk and replace your paper visitor book with a digital solution such as the Swiped On contactless sign-in system. If you have to use plastic for bin bags for safety purposes, opt for a compostable waste bag. And if you have food waste or coffee grinds, pick up some recycled paper bags or tell your colleagues to bring a container and take them home for use in the garden. 